she has left that team. And we are about to get underway. Georgia Tech, Lorella Kubai, who is uh, the person who really makes that defense hum. Misha Hyman, number five in white for Syracuse, running the show. And a turnover, Kubai comes up with it. She is capable of bringing the ball up by herself, finds Lottman in mid-stride. Kubai misses on the lay-in attempt, but aggressively gets the rebound. The best rebounder, best defensive team in the nation, but look in the conference, their ranks are towards the bottom, and most of them except for assists. As Georgia Tech usually does a good job of hanging on to the basketball themselves, only averaging about 13 turnovers. They've had three games when they've had fewer than 10, and well, what Georgia Tech does is they keep you from, from running your stuff. I mean, they're really disruptive. They're very disciplined on the defensive end of the floor, and that's a great take by Hyman inside. Ball has to get reversed, or you have to get two feet in the paint. That is the first Syracuse field goal. It's with 32, both of them are transfers. Not related. Hyman doing all the work, isn't she, for Syracuse so far. Getting the ball reversed, not having to play one on one as much. And as the more often that Hyman's able to break down the defense, is another two inside by Hermosa. Hard to see the three point shot open up. The def defense is breaking down, rotations will be had, and then the three point shot will open up. Chip Days. Oh, Maculata won, won three in a row, and then Delta State took three in a row. Uh huh. And Nikki Moss, remember going to. Syracuse trying to snap a four-game losing streak. There's Strotman, the former Orange player, and it rolls on in. She she scored more points than anybody on the floor here at this building. They go six deep, so they can't afford to get in foul trouble. Switch from that traditional 2-3 zone that we're used to seeing Syracuse play into this 3-2 zone. And something that uh, was expected. Syracuse is undersized against just about every team that they play, whether in conference or not, and that is a terrific drive. And Pim, you watch, the Syracuse wings are going with the cutters in the zone. Really good hands right there by Carr. And then this is what Syracuse can do, beating Georgia Tech down the floor. Both of these teams with very short benches. Hermosa, good look, and she finished. Dubai. Looking inside to Hermosa. You can just see the height advantage, and it works right over Christiana Carr. Love comes up with the rebound for Syracuse as we get five minutes to go in the half. Kubai, beautiful to Hermosa. There's just no way to stop that. Of doing our work early and, and getting position. Got to have better ball pressure. Got to move your feet. And Syracuse is going to have to use their quickness and ability to get around defenders. You can't fight those bigs of Georgia Tech down low. Dubai with eight points. Hermosa with 13. And the ball finds the bottom of the net. Two of them. As we remind you, at 10 Eastern tonight after our women's basketball doubleheader, tune into nothing but net also coming away Saturday. And another turnover, it's Lottman. And that is one of the things that she can do is guarded by Lottman. Now on the switch. And a terrific look inside the styles. Nicely done by Carl. 46-45, and Mel Fortner said it, when you only give up 46 points, you should be winning ball games. But they were off playing in a Georgia Tech. Najee Murray said that she wants to contribute in other ways. Her shot is continuing to be off. She is 0 for 5 in this game. Wow! So we see the adjustment by Syracuse. We see the adjustment, they're bringing that weak side, heavy, heavy help inside. The skip and the seal are gonna be open. Collected around midcourt. So see Murray all the way in and help, now recovering out. That's the skip and seal that's going to be there. Find a way to get some, some easier shots. Some of those are gonna be in transition. Some of those are just like that, getting into the paint, getting some layups. You just need to see the ball. Second personal foul on Lodemar Lottman. There they come, Syracuse, starting to heat up. And the lead is six. 
Georgia Tech scuffling a bit in this third quarter. Stratmana over Najee Murray. Picks her dribble up. And the drive and the conversion for Nia Wilson, the freshman. Ebony Walker, who is an Arizona State transfer, only playing six games so far, out with an undisclosed injury. They don't know when she's coming back. Spreading out, spreading it out. Crystalline Carr driving on her Mosa. Little stop, pop, and hit. Terrific finish to the court. So good for the Qs. Gets the switch, exploits the switch. Carr for two. Louisville in a game that they led for most of it before losing on the. Engsler, former Syracuse players, last second layup. Love gets inside. They're in the first half, so much better all the way around. You referenced Tech's, or excuse me, uh, Syracuse's defense, and they shut down the. And go after offensive rebounds and try to turn people over. And now you have a roster, a whole new roster that you have to try to teach that system to. Syracuse hang your three points. Go ahead. Yeah, and, and you can hang your hat on your defense. You're always going to give yourself a chance as. Hyman knocks down that three. Syracuse in this quarter. This is one of those possessions, Pam, where, where Kubai has to get deeper position. That's a great pass and, and a good three. It, it, they, if they can dictate tempo, if they can take shots late in the shot clock, and then give themselves opportunities with the offensive rebound as Kubai uses the pivot. And you back up to 13. Styles has played a nice game. You're always looking to find ways that you can get better, and, and mentally you don't want to have lapses. You know, you're hitting about midway through conference play. You want your team to be to be motivated and ready. Mimosa, there you go. So no rest for the weary here. There's the upcoming schedule. As you see, that Louisville game slated to be on ESPN on the 6th. There's a shot. Georgia Tech led from the very beginning, actually led before any time was off the clock. 